Hello and welcome to today's video, Load Balancing Simplified for VCF. Today we are going to talk about how to manage the AVI Load Balancer from the SDDC Manager. I'm Pablo Boscariola, Product Manager for the ANS Division at Broadcom. So starting with VCF 5.2, we launched the integration between the VCF SDDC Manager and the AVI Load Balancer. This integration allows the VCF users to easily deploy and manage the AVI Load Balancer for the VCF workload domains. This is a brief example of how AVI can be deployed on VCF, either on the management domain or in the workload domains. The value that AVI provides for VCF customers includes a 10 times reduction in the managed devices, automation and self-services to make your user's life easier, auto-scaling and auto-healing to support today's business needs, and much of the application visibility which turns VCF into an application-aware private cloud and a web application firewall to easily secure your applications and comply with the security requirements and standards. Let's start from the SDC Manager dashboard. We select the workload domain where we want AVI to provide services. Then we start the deploy workflow by clicking on action and deploy. As part of the workflow, the SDC manager asks the admin to provide details like the AVI controller cluster size, the version to deploy, and the IP and FQDN for the cluster. That's all. The SDC manager takes care of checking the compatibility against the workload domain components and deploys the AVI load balancer for us. When the deployment finishes, the corresponding AVI load balancer UI can be launched from the workload domain services tab. Now, as it's done with other components like vSphere and NSX, the admin can manage the password and certificates from a centralized place, which is the SDC manager, ensuring consistency and compliance. Let's generate and replace the portal certificate for AVI from the SDC manager. We switch to the certificates tab to generate the CSR, the certificate, and to install it on the AVI load balancer. Just with a couple of clicks, we have easily gone through the task. Finally, let's do some password operations. From the password management screen, we can rotate, update, and remediate AVI load balancer passwords. This includes not only the AVI admin account, which is the portal account, but the service accounts that AVI uses to communicate with both vCenter and NSX as part of the AVI automation. In summary, today we saw how easy it is to deploy and to go through the day two operations of AVI Load Balancer in a VCF environment, thanks to its unique integration with VCF. To see more details about how to deploy AVI Load Balancer services through VCF Automation, formerly ARIA Automation, please check the available video from our YouTube channel, VMware AVI Load Balancer. Are you ready to learn more about AVI? Please check out our blogs, social media, product documentation, and our wonderful hands-on labs. Thank you.